What do you think? It's sick. <laughs> it's like, it smells like cleaner than it ever smelled. You know, we were skeptical. We were like, how can this little canister actually get rid of all the odor? How? And we chose the stinkiest, most disgusting liner we had in the lab. Put it in and lo and behold, it worked. So, uh, working out and getting back after it that my, my liners get filled up with sweat. And you know what? They get pretty crusty. But luckily, I have this awesome machine that helps me get my liners clean, take the smell away, and make me feel more confident when I go out in public wearing my legs. So if you get the chance to get this, or if you're somebody that can prescribe this to your patients, definitely, definitely do it. I'm Matt Hombecker from Indiana Institute for Prosthetics. I love my Ross system. Patients love it. And I've been involved with the Ross team for the past two and a half years, and watched this machine grow from the ground up. It has changed my life. Oh, wow, it smells clean, it feels fresh. It doesn't have that sour smell anymore. Give it a bit of a wipe down so you get any dead skin uh, off the actual liner. I pop it into Ross, pop the lid on, and push go. 10 minutes, zero bacteria, no odor, and honestly, it's changed my life forever. I'm so grateful. A few minutes on Ross, not only did I get rid of the smell, my liner also felt fresh and clean, and, it, and it's as if it was new again. Put it in there and took it out. Me and the patient were amazed on how, how well it worked. So this unit does work. Everybody should have one. How's it smell? Serious? It smells like a fresh swimming pool. I mean, it's never smelled clean before, even when it was clean. This is not a thing. The only way I can explain is we were, we were blown out of the water as to how well this worked and the feedback we got from the patients that have come in and we've tried it with them. Um, it's really almost unbelievable because as you know, um, no matter how much a patient cleans them, whether it be in rubbing, with rubbing alcohol or with soap and water, they can clean it daily, there's still always an odor that is associated with it. Um, it can be embarrassing for a lot of patients, you know, being in the field, we're kind of used to it, but um, it can be embarrassing, and normally that, that is a sign that there still is bacteria on the liner. Um, and we've used this Ross cleaner that we got for a trial uh, with every single IPT that's come through the door uh, since receiving it for the trial. And just we've had unbelievable results 